All right, everybody. So in today's video, we want to return to this question of alternating series, and we want to specifically examine when the alternating series uh, converge and when they diverge. And with alternating series, we are going to introduce this extra idea about an alternating series converging uh, absolutely versus converging conditionally. So I want to define both of those terms and then examine several different alternating series to see whether they are convergent and to see how they are converging absolutely versus conditionally. So in order to define these new terms, we have to be able to distinguish an alternating series from the series uh, in which every term is just added, right? So instead of plus minus plus minus, just plus 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 plus. And to do this, we are going to consider uh, an alternating series uh, as sort of distinguished here in blue. So specifically, let a sub n represent a, a sequence of positive terms. So all of our a sub n's are positive. Uh, then this expression in blue, right, this series as n goes from one, or the sum as n goes from one to infinity of negative one to the n minus one times a sub n, that is an alternating series. The a sub n's are all positive, and the negative one piece makes it go plus minus plus minus. Um, at the same time, I can consider the series that is just the sum of the a sub n's. Notice there's no negative one here. This is just a one plus a two plus a three and so on. I can recognize this as a series containing the absolute values of the terms, right? So I can also think of this as the same series that I previously had, just with these absolute value signs thrown up around every term. That will accomplish the same thing of eliminating that negative one and eliminating that plus minus plus minus, right? So we can compare these two series, the alternating series in blue and the corresponding non-alternating series in red. And we can consider whether or not these two different series converge or diverge. And so we end up with this subtle distinction. If both the alternating series and the non-alternating series converge, so if both of them converge, we say that the alternating series converges absolutely, right? Meaning that the absolute values of its terms also converges when considered as a series. At the same time, if the alternating series converges, but the non-alternating series diverges, right? So the alternating series plus minus plus minus converges, but the plus 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 diverges, we say that the alternating series converges, but it only converges conditionally. Finally, if both the alternating series and the absolute value series diverge, we don't introduce any new language. We just say that the alternating series diverges. So notice in both of these, these first two bullet points, the alternating series is converging, but we're making a distinction by not only checking the alternating series, but also checking this um, absolute value series as well. So we have that an alternating series can converge absolutely or conditionally. Now notice we haven't examined the case in which an alternating series diverges, but the absolute value series converges. It turns out that that is not able to happen. That is actually impossible. Um, and that is summarized in this theorem down here. Right, a theorem, this theorem says that if an alternating series is absolutely convergent, then that series is also conditionally convergent. Or in other words, if the absolute values of the terms converge, then the non-absolute value of the terms, the alternating series, must also converge. All right, uh, and it turns out that this is not just restricted to the case where our series alternate plus minus plus minus plus minus. It turns out that if we have any series that 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 let me grab my pen. If I have any series, uh, let's say the sum as n equals one to infinity. If I have any series like this of expressions b sub n, 
I don't care if they're all positive. I don't care if they're positive, negative, positive, negative. I don't care if they're you know, positive, positive, negative, positive, positive, negative. I don't care which ones are positive and which ones are negative. If I take this series and I throw on absolute value signs and I see that that series converges, then I would say that the original series B sub n without absolute value signs, I would say that that series converges absolutely. And what this theorem is telling us is that therefore, this series, this B sub n, will converge as well. So I can summarize this as saying, if B sub n with the absolute value signs, if that series converges, then B sub n without the absolute value signs, sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of regular b sub n converges. Okay, and so this gives us a framework for seeing if a series converges, uh, specifically to see if a series alternating or otherwise converges, try studying the corresponding series with absolute value terms, right? And if that converges, the original series converges absolutely. Uh, if it doesn't converge, then the original series uh, might converge or might diverge. Okay, and here we have two quick and easy examples. The alternating harmonic series, the series that goes one minus a half plus a third minus a fourth, we have already seen that this alternating harmonic series uh, converges. We saw this in our previous video. So this converges, but it only converges conditionally. And we know that's true because if we took the absolute values, right, so the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of the absolute values of uh, this alternating harmonic series, Right? Well, this was just equal to one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus dot, dot, dot. And we've already seen that this diverges. So the alternating harmonic series converges, but because the regular harmonic series diverges, the alternating harmonic series only converges conditionally. Now, what about this series, the alternating series one over one squared? minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. Uh, this looks like it's of the form, the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared times negative 1 to the n minus 1, right? So we have that alternating element and then it looks like it's of the form 1 over n squared. If I choose to consider the absolute value of these terms, so if I throw some absolute value signs on there, then this just becomes the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared. And this we know converges, right? And how do we know that this converges? Well, the sum of things of the form 1 over n squared, that's nothing more than a p-series. Right, and that's a P series with P equals two. So because this is a, uh, uh, I should say because this absolute value expression converges, we therefore know that the original series, right, the original series, pretend that I'm spelling correctly and legibly, the original series converges absolutely. And therefore, the original series converges. Awesome.